So this question is a diagram question. More specifically, it is a graph question. So whenever I have a graph question, I like to take a look at the graph first and just notice any ordered pairs that are easy to spot. Uh, the two that I see, in fact, I see three total. I have this point right here that is two comma two. I have this point right here that is zero, I'm sorry, one comma zero. And I have this point here, which is zero comma negative one. So the question says, what is an equation of the graph shown? Well, here's what's great about identifying these ordered pairs. The equation should work with the ordered pair. And what I mean by that is I should be able to plug in an ordered pair into the equation and get a true statement. For instance, I see that all of these are exponential, which it should be because it's an exponential graph. So we have two to the X power. So I'm gonna use this zero here to see which one of these if I plug x equals zero in, I get a y equals negative one. And again, I'm getting this from this point that's actually on the graph. So for answer choice A, two to the zero plus two would equal three actually, because two to the zero is just one, and one plus two is three, so that's gone. I want, I want y to equal negative one. I do not want y to equal three. For choice B, I'd have two to the zero plus one. So again, two to the zero is one. One plus one is equal to two. I want negative one, so that's gone. Uh, for choice C, same deal, two to the zero minus one. Two to the zero is one. One minus one equals zero, but I want y to equal negative one. So choice C is gone. And lastly, we have choice D, which I'll write over here. Uh, y equals two to the zero minus two. 2 to the 0 power is positive 1. 1 minus 2 is negative 1. That's exactly what we want it to happen, right? We want it x to equal 0 to lead to y equaling negative 1. It is the only answer choice that did that, and therefore choice D must be the correct answer. Now, obviously, we could have used 2 comma 2. We could have used 1 comma 0. I just happen to like this fact that 2 or anything to the zero power equals one. So I, I decided to use this. If you use this strategy and you get multiple correct answers or multiple answers that work out to give that you that ordered pair, just move on to the next ordered pair, right? So I've never seen a question not fully work after plugging in twice. And usually like 80 to 90% of the time, if you, 80 to 90% of the time, it'll work on just that first try, right? You just choose an ordered pair plug in the x value, see if the y value comes out as you'd like it, and there typically is only one that will work doing it that way.